Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Fake It Till You Make It or Hi If You're New. I'm Katie. I know you don't often see my face, but today is a different, a uh, little bit different sort of a video. It's not a plan with me, rather a 2022 planner lineup video. I love seeing these from other people, other planners to see what planner or planners, more than likely, they will be using for the upcoming year. And so I wanted to share with you, and I have this huge stack. I wish you could see it. Maybe I'll pull the camera down. Let me, I may have an avalanche. Let me see. if. I, and the, these are not planners that will be used every day, but this, whew, that was like arms day. That was, that was considered arm day for the day, okay? Like getting my workout in. No, but seriously, um, there are probably 13-ish planners, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know, but you'll see. They're not all planners, maybe not every day. Some might be kind of used together in unique ways for my life, which is why I, in particular, like the Happy Planner system. There is one that is not a Happy Planner, and I will go over that, but the rest are Happy Planners, and I, in particular, like that um, that system for that reason, because I can add things and take things out and make it work for me. So you probably know if you follow me, you're probably, or maybe a happy planner, um, or familiar with their system, but let's just get into it. Okay. I have the camera flipped around, so let's just get into it. So first is, um, my new budget planner. This is the undated 12 month budget edition. They also have a dated version, which is this, and I will be passing this along um, to someone else because I really loved how neutral this one is. I'm going to put some gold discs on here. I need to date it, but, you know, I just love a nice, a nice neutral slate. So I will be using this for budgeting this year along with the companion pack. Um, I did purchase this, so I, there's some expense sheets, some folders, some note paper because I do um, kind of tweak my budget a little bit. I don't necessarily use the the planner in the way that it's laid out, but that's the great thing I, about the system. I add in extra sheets to figure out my budget, so of course I will also be needing some filler paper. So this will be not a, a daily um, planner necessarily. Um, I usually use this paydays, monthly, check in with it um, once a week, but that is my number one system that I'll be using along with some cash envelopes, of course. And those I always keep in my Skinny Classic, which is my on-the-go planner. I love this planner. Um, I just, I really enjoy this planner. Um, it's my on-the-go. I keep money. You can probably see some cash in there. Um, receipts, all that good stuff. And I keep this in a little zip up um, like wallet. And this is my on the go, my on the go planner wallet all in one. I did take a few months out cause she gets a little chunky, especially now all those Christmas receipts in there. So this is my number two system. This is great for on the go. I love this planner. Next up is the recipe organizer. And this, I feel like, isn't really a planner, but, um, I mean, it can be because it helps you to plan your life. This one is gorgeous. I love that it's sectioned off. I actually have some recipes that I have pulled off that are upstairs that I've already written in here. I just really love this. Um, so this might not be an everyday or even an every week planner, but this will definitely be in my lineup. Um, I just, it's neutral and beautiful. I love the dividers, breakfast, dessert, soups, healthy. And like these recipe sheets, I really like them and they are double-sided. So if you have an extra lawn recipe, that's great. Or you can use both sides for different recipes. So ton of sheets in here. I do have some extra recipe sheets. I do have some extra recipe sheets and kind of in line with that is the meal planner. Um, I think this cover is so pretty. It's already, I've already been using this. Um, so you can see, 
I have a recipe in here that needs to go in my um, in my actual recipe book, but I love this. You can make grocery lists, recipes and ingredients, and then you can meal plan, which I, as one of my goals this year, is to be healthier, be uh, more thoughtful with my meals, plan them out because that not only helps my budget and but also my overall health. So I'm really excited to use this. I like the layout of it. You can pop these out and put it into your main planner, which is what I may do. I may take um, one week out at a time and kind of Franken plan, but that'll be a whole nother video. So this is what, what was this? Was this number four? Number four. I'm already losing track. Let's see if we can keep track. Count along. Let me know in the, in the comments what I, what my total ends up being. Um, also, not exactly a planner, but my wellness. It is an undated planner wellness. I received this from Happy Planner in one of my squad boxes, my winter squad box. Yes. Um, but I really like the idea of journaling, of, you know, charting gratitude, things like that. Um, intention, nourish, movement, take note. So I'm, I don't know that this will be again, an everyday thing. I'm going to be honest, but it's something I want to get better at. Maybe take five or 10 minutes a day, whether that be in the morning or the evening or both, and just take some time to journal. So I don't know if this will be something that I share or not, maybe here and there. Um, but this is something I, I want to work into my lineup as well. So that was number five. I think it was number five. <laughs> I'm not going to do a good job at counting. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Sorry, my, my stack fell and they got a little mixed up. This is also, um, isn't a planner, but definitely I've already been using this as well, a shopping list. So again, one of my goals is um, just trying to be healthy, meal planning this year, and this shopping list I think is going to help me. I actually keep this upstairs um, in our kitchen so that the family can add items on and that really works and the back is blank so if for example you know my daughter packs her last she likes these little snack pack things with like the meat and cheese and nuts the little protein packs if she takes the last one out she can add it to this list so I know when I go to the grocery store that's what I have to get so actually this sits upstairs in the kitchen it has been working really well for us I like this I will continue to use this plus it just helps with the budget too so I'm not double buying or forgetting something so this is also so I don't know if you want to count this would this be like a 0.5 would this be like a 5.5 or would you count this as a planner I don't know so we're also using that I just want to share everything and how I'm using it this year because it may help you um let's see the next thing that is kind of showing you planner not planners and this is the only one that is not a happy planner is the cultivate what matters power sheets oh my gosh so I have never used power sheets before but I did my homework um and came up with my yearly goals which I if you want to see I'll do a video I may share some of that and maybe like do my January attending list um but I need to get this situated and set up. I really want to feel accomplished. We have had a rough couple of years, right? Like just as is humanity. And so I really, there are some goals I really, really want to hit. I'm excited about this. Um, this is a tending list. So I might do that with you in a video. Um, yeah, and maybe share what my yearly goals are. But I'm really excited. Again, for me, this isn't necessarily a daily planner in that I'm like writing what I'm doing in a day, but this is goal setting. This is how am I going to achieve those things that are important to me. So I'm super excited about this. And look at this color. I am in love. Was that six or seven? I don't I don't know. I've I've already lost track. I'm telling you, it's so bad. Um, this I purchased, okay, I love this like hot, it's like a corally hot pink disc and these butterflies. Oh my gosh. So this is the monthly layout. Um, so pretty. So I have, I purchased this 
I love the idea of having lists. Okay, so this is sort of a multi-parter. So this monthly, along with some daily sheets or some of these, like, um, this is a wellness, but sheets like this that are more of like a daily or priority sheet, list making sheets, dailies, the monthly checklist, um, and or these two. So this is the hourly, but it's color blocked gray, but you could use this as an hourly. This, okay, this is going to be a Franken plan situation, I think. Along with this Girl with Goals that I kind of put together. Um, let me find the weekly. Okay, that you may have remembered if you've seen, right, that I used as an hourly work planner. So these I'm going to kind of work in together into a little Franken plan-y situation. Um, it is kind of a home slash work planner. So if you don't know, I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, I round on patients. I, I see them in the office and in different facilities, but I can do my computer work, AKA my charting. If you've ever heard me talk about it at home. And so sometimes working from home can be a challenge. And so different days I, I need different things. Sometimes a daily sheet works really well for me. Sometimes I really want a time block and that's where I think like this or the girl with goals will come in. Sometimes I need a list. So these will be Franken planned in some type of um, situation as a kind of work planner. So that's three, I don't know. And then you count these four, five, I don't know where I'm at, guys. 11, 12. I, I don't even know. 12, 10? Who knows? Let me know in the comments if you're counting. Okay. Um, and then for, to, for 2022, I definitely I have goals for YouTube. I would love to get monetized. Um, I'm not going to hide that. That is a, a goal of mine. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. Um, but also I want to be consistent with my content and being a full-time working mom, sometimes that can be hard. Um, and I think planning for it will help me. And I've been saying this, I've tried other things. This is what I'm going to try for this year. Um, I am going to use a plans and notes, this one in particular. Um, you can get these on Amazon. There's a, there'll be a link in my bio. Um, it's undated. Oops, sorry, I'm going to flip here. So it has this nice neutral month, right? And then you have like some blank pages and it's just the months, but then there's no paper because I have found I am a, I am a list maker. When I am planning for content, the other systems I have tried haven't used because I always end up grabbing a notebook and jotting things down. So I think that this is really going to help. Also with this vertical, now I'm debating between this one and, wait for it, this one. Um, they were both sent to me by the Happy Planner, both vertical, neutral, beautiful. I love them both. I'm having, I'm having such a hard time deciding which one I want to use. I really, but I'm thinking this one um, with maybe... Maybe some black metal discs. I don't know. So I'm going to Franken plan these two together because sometimes I do, like if I want to maybe be more specific about something I want to post. Um, I love the note sheets for just creating little checklists. But if I want to be more specific about something or um, if I have an idea or, you know, multiple things, like I want also like this space in the week. So I will also be, um, using this again, Franken planning. So I think I may have, I've never Franken planned before you guys, but I think that maybe that's why my system towards the end of last year wasn't quite working for me because I wasn't, I was just using the same planner the same way I have always used it, even though my life is changing. Do you ever get in that rut? I definitely was in that rut. So I think that it's time to pull myself out of the rut and try something new. And you know what? This may not work. I don't know, but I don't know unless I try it. So we're definitely going to try that. Um, so that is, I don't know, 
13, is that 12, 13, 15? Who knows? And then this beauty, this is the Spoonful of Faith um, dashboard. I have not written my name in it yet. I have, um, I have plans in it already. This is the dashboard. And this dashboard is so neutral. Oh yeah, and I did my first week spread in here already. I love, there's no shaded box. The only shading is this pale gray, totally neutral. I can totally vibe with that. So I am going to, I think, switch the discs out for something. I love this color teal, but I am really feeling like a different disc. So I think I'm going to swap the cover on this and swap the discs. But this is going to be my at-home catch-all planner. I just feel like it's so perfect. Um, I have never used a dashboard for home before, but for example, um, I just think this is really going to work for me. I can put, you know, meals here or like a quick at-a-glance appointments up in this section, um, calls and emails, which I always have to do um, I put a little shopping list here, some errands, like things maybe to do outside the home, in the home, um, and then just other random to-dos. I think that this is really going to be so functional. And I'm really, I, I'm honestly, it's been a long time since I've been this excited about a planner. I'm so excited to start this planner for 2022 and um, yeah, just get into it because I think this is really going to work very well as a home planner. So I'm excited about that. And that is the last planner. Um, the only other thing that I don't have that I would like to add is there is a yellow journal that came out with the winter release. Um, I think Elise and I know Heather Kell and Elise got it um, that will be coming to Joann's, which my Joann's doesn't have yet. So I'm still on the hunt for that. But um, yeah, so those are, it's like this isn't enough. Again though, like these are not necessarily gonna be used every day and some will be, you know, tr added together, transform, frank and planned, whatever you wanna call it, um, to work for my needs. So obviously you don't need all this. You literally can use Post-its, a notebook. Um, I love this system. I love Happy Planner. A lot of this was sent to me and I can't wait to use it. So stay tuned if you want to see some um, Franken planning videos because I will be putting some of these together because 2022 is right around the corner. It came so quick. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments what planners you'll be using for 2022 because I'm always excited to hear what you'll be using, how you'll be using it, because that also helps me and gives me ideas. And I really look forward to, um, to seeing that from you guys. So anyway, happy new year, happy planner new year and happy 2022 guys. I hope this year brings you nothing but joy and happiness and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.